beautiful friends it's Amanda here and today I'm doing an elf haul there have been a lot of exciting new releases coming out from elf cosmetics recently and I decided to place a little order not really a little order kind of a medium order and check out some of their new formulas that have been causing a stir online I got four different shades of the glow reviver lip oil these have been very very hyped up online so I knew I needed to try those I also got four shades of the camo liquid blush. I love a liquid blush. There is a new formulation in the camo CC cream. This is the hydrating CC cream. And this was also in the new section on the e.l.f. website. This is the Lash Extender Mascara. So I decided to check this out as well. I just went a little bit crazy on the new page. I ordered all this stuff myself. It's not PR or anything. And I have a lot of thoughts. I'm wearing a bunch of these things now. So I'm gonna take you through close-ups, live swatches, application demo, and I'm gonna give you all of the info and all of my thoughts along the way. So let's get into these Glow Reviver lip oils first. This is the outer packaging that the Glow Reviver lip oils come in. I like the little color-coordinated labels, the shade name labels on top. It'll make it really easy for in-store shopping if you're just looking for a certain shade you can find it really easily that's something that I think sometimes reviews tend to overlook I like looking at the outer packaging as well as the product itself the actual lip oil has a very classic simple elf cosmetics type of styling on the front with the elf logo and then on the back it has the actual product name and the shade names are listed on stickers on the bottom for me, I think the biggest selling point packaging wise for a lip product is the applicator. And I gotta say, this is my absolute favorite type of lip applicator. This big, giant, squishy, cushy doe foot that just feels so comfy and nice on the lips. So this is a standard lip oil applicator, but I'm glad that it is not a little small doe foot. I'm going to show you some live swatches now. This is the shade Coral Fixation. Just looks clear. Pink Quartz also just looks clear. I'm feeling a little bit silly because this always happens to me with lip oils. Now, the other two shades I picked up are Rose Envy and Red Delicious. Those actually have a decent amount of tint. These don't have a crazy long wear time though. So if you want to keep that tint on the lips, you do really need to reapply pretty frequently. That's not a problem for me. I like especially something like a lip oil or a tinted balm. I like to continually apply it. it just feels good and comfy so I don't mind that but if you're looking for a long-term color product on the lip this isn't really going to do it for you. Not a deal breaker for me though. Now we're moving on to the camo liquid blushes. These are even more color coordinated packaging. I appreciate the fact that this looks very different from the lip oils so you can distinguish them easily on the shelves. The actual tubes of blush have that same sleek minimalist e.l.f. cosmetics look but these have white lids and white accents where the glow revivers had the black accents and then of course the shade names are on stickers on the bottom here. Now this is a slightly different style of doe foot but it is similar in that it is a big oversized type of doe foot. This one just has a slightly more precise oval type of shape so that if you wanted to only apply a little bit of blush or just control the placement this is a nice doe foot for that. Here's a real close up so you can see this is not a cupped doe foot so you're not going to be scooping out a lot of product but you really don't need to. You'll see especially with these live swatches this holds plenty of product and these blushes are very very nicely pigmented so a little bit does go a long way with these camo liquid blushes. The shades that I picked up are Peach Perfect, Dusty Rosé, Suave Mauve, and Coral Crush. 
at least at the time I purchased these, there were nine different shades available. So I felt like getting four shades was a pretty decent sampling. And I like all of the colors I got, so I can easily see myself using these all throughout the year. On the e.l.f. site, these are described as having a soft, dewy finish. I would definitely agree with that. These don't have a matte look on the skin, but I do feel like after I applied them and blended them in, they did dry down in a way that they didn't feel like if I touched my cheek, it was going to come right off. Hopefully that makes sense. Now let's move on to the Camo Hydrating CC Cream. This comes in 30 different shades, which I feel like is really good for a CC cream. However, this is a full coverage product, so they really don't have the flexibility of shade range that some other CC cream type products have. This is cruelty-free and vegan, so it's safe for my vegan friends out there. I purchased the shade Light 205N, and I feel like this is a decently good shade match for me. Maybe a little bit darker than I needed, but once I apply it, blend it out, put other products on top, it ends up matching me just fine. So overall, pretty good. Definitely a good neutral undertone. Lastly, we have the Lash Extender Mascara. This does also come in brown, but I just ordered the black color. This is a tubing mascara, and it is made to be lengthening and defining. So this is not saying that it's a volumizing mascara. And I think you can tell from the applicator wand thing here that this is definitely more of a lengthening and defining type of product. If it was volumizing, it would need some maybe fluffier, longer bristles. That's just my observation after trying a whole lot of makeup products, but I mean, I'm sure somebody can come up with a contradictory example somewhere. Now that you've seen all the products close up, let's do a little application demo. That way you can see some of these things in action. I'm starting off with just clean, moisturized skin regular skincare routine, but I'm not using any primer. So I've cleansed, moisturized, and applied my daily sunscreen. What you see here is about half a pump, maybe a little bit more, just applied to one side of the face. I'm not using any concealer, color correct, or anything today. Just want to see what the coverage is like here since it claims to be a full coverage CC cream. And after blending this in with this little Real Techniques face brush, I was pleasantly surprised at the coverage, the finish. It really covered up a lot of my, what do you want to call it, skin imperfections. It looks great, I think. It covered up a lot of my redness, a lot of my sunspots and things like that, and it looks very skin-like and hydrated, so I was actually shocked at how good it looked. I kept looking in the mirror and being like, is this real life? Because it's been a while since I've had such a successful side-by-side -side look here. So I just did the same thing on the other side, dabbed a little bit onto my face, blended out with this face brush. This is the Real Techniques Instapop face brush. I like this one. I rotate through several face brushes and this one's just nice and big, so it blends out really quickly. There have been a few weeks between me filming this and me adding this voiceover and editing, getting this video ready for you. And I can tell you that the Camo Hydrating CC Cream has been my go-to since the day I filmed this video. I have worn it every day that I've worn makeup. I've also worn this Camo Liquid Blush quite a bit in the meantime, not quite as often as the CC cream because I've worn other blushes in lieu of these camo liquid blushes, but I have worn quite a lot of these. I have mixed and matched them. I've tested all four shades by now over the past couple of weeks, and this is still holding strong as a great product for me. It blends in quickly. It doesn't go patchy. It layers nicely. It looks great all day. I get a great wear time. I have a nice dewy skin-like finish. Very, very happy with these liquid blushes as well. And I have also worn the Lash Extender Mascara every day since filming this haul a couple weeks ago. I sometimes pair it with another more volumizing mascara, 
but especially for my lower lashes, I love the Lash Extender Mascara. I know I'm getting ahead of myself, but I just wanted to make sure that I had enough time during this voiceover portion to let you know that these products have remained daily use or at least staple type of products in my makeup routine over basically this entire month. And the lip oils are fine. They're just lip oils. I have tinted lip balms that I prefer more that give me a little bit more color. But in general, from the day that I filmed this video, the footage that you're watching now, which I've been able to form stronger opinions. And I have to say, these products absolutely are standing the test of time for me with rigorous use. Especially the mascara, you really need to use it a lot before you can decide how you feel about it. I get literally no smudging, no flaking. I do feel like this is the type of product that's going to run out kind of quickly on me, but it's not super expensive, so I don't really mind that, and it just looks great. I don't have to struggle to take it off like some other tubing mascaras have been a little bit more finicky for me in the past. So even though the CC cream and the blushes are the more exciting hits for me out of this haul, I think that this Lash Extender Mascara is one of those products that I am going to continually repurchase and continually love. All in all, I feel like this was a very successful haul. Nothing was a super dud for me. There are definitely some things that I like more than others. Let's just get this part over with first. I think these are super overhyped online. If you're gonna get these little cleary looking ones, just get one. They look the same. I'm not even gonna bother lip swatching them. They just look clear. Why do I keep doing this to myself? Every time lip oils come out, I'm like, these all look the same. I will say that these two, the ones that are more opaque looking in the packaging, actually have a little bit more of an individualized color. Rose Envy and Red Delicious, you can actually see some sort of tint on the lips. I just think that these are just lip oils. They're just regular lip oils. I mean, I like this one the most. I'm gonna wear this one the most. I'll wear them, it's just, I don't know why everybody's talking about them. I don't get the hype. They're fine. I don't really like the minty scent, especially because it's that like chemically minty scent. So it's it's giving menthol more than mint. It's not minty fresh. It's more like menthol. I, they're fine. We'll see if they burn my lips like the Rare Beauty ones did, but I think they're just probably fine. Not bad. I wish that I hadn't bought four, but because everybody was talking about them and swatching them and showing them and hyping them. I thought they were gonna be life-changing and amazing and they are just fine lip oils. So this is my least favorite thing. I wish that I would have only gotten one shade. If you love these and you love lip oils and they change your life and they make you happy, then that's great. I'm not here to say that you're wrong. It's just these don't, these don't really do that much for me. The mascara needs more time for me to really formulate my thoughts. I need to wear it in different conditions. I need to see if it flakes off. I need to see how long it takes for this tube to dry up. But first application, I like this. I think it looks really good. I didn't have to use a comb to separate my lashes. My lashes look long and defined. They look good. So I like this actually more than I thought I would. I thought it was going to be meh and it actually ended up looking really nice. So jury's still out for the long-term thoughts on this, but first impression is definitely favorable. I've only used two of the four colors I picked up, but they have an impressive amount of pigmentation. They blended easily. I think it looks really flawless and lovely on my skin. It definitely looks natural and pretty and skin-like and the finish is very similar to the finish of the CC cream that I'm wearing. So I think that these work particularly well with the Camo Hydrating CC Cream. Obviously, I'll also have to see how long these wear for, but in general, I'm very pleased with these. I can see these being a favorite for me, especially because of how easy breezy the application was. So I think that those liquid blushes deserve more hype than the lip oils, in my opinion. I think I need to do a full in-depth wear test with this hydrating CC cream. This looks very, very nice on my skin. It's really working well for me. I think that the coverage 
the texture, the finish is all really impressive. I didn't do any concealer or powder or anything. I just put this on and then put the liquid blush on my cheeks. And I think that my skin looks wonderful. It looks hydrated and glowy without being shiny, sweaty, metallic looking. I would love to see how this holds up to a full day wear test under intense zoomed in HD scrutiny because so far this seems like a really smash hit product for me. Let me know if you're interested in seeing a full in-depth all day wear test with check-ins and the extreme zooms for this. I definitely could make that happen if it's something you're interested in because I really want to know too for scientific purposes if this is actually as good as I think it is. Even though I'm not crazy about all four of the lip oils that I got, I still think that this looks cute. I wish that they had a different scent. I would prefer a fruity scent like the Fantasy Cosmetica lip oils have. But you know, at the end of the day, that's just more of a personal preference. I would love to hear what you think about these products. Have you tried any of these? Have you had a completely different experience and you love what I don't like or you don't like what is really working for me? I always love to hear what you think about things too. So leave all your thoughts down in the comments below. Let me know if you want to see a wear test on the hydrating CC cream. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Uh, the. Let's try that again. Shh. Um, I forget what I was talking about. Uh, it's going great. I'm fine. Ah, uh, it. Um. Not nailing it. Oh, I have to edit that out. That was a really loud burp. This eye look is really simple, but it's really cute. It's from the Nomad New Zealand Stargazing Palette. This review will already be posted before you see this haul. So, huh? Is this thing on? It really looks good, doesn't it? Like, let's look, let's look close up. It looks so good. The last wear test that I did was really, really not good. It was that Revlon serum tint and it looked so bad on my skin. It was just like breaking apart. It was sitting so badly on my skin. So now, ever since I filmed that, I have been paranoid that it's my skin that's the problem. But no, it's not. My skin looks just dandy with this on it. It definitely was that product. Sorry to say. All right, I have another little video I'm gonna go finish up and I appreciate you watching and I appreciate your patience because you know, I've had a couple things pre-filmed cause I have some family stuff that I gotta go deal with. So a lot of my videos are gonna be not the very timely turnaround on hot new releases, but I have to do some pre-filming and some stuff like that. This video though, thankfully I got this in plenty of time that I could have this one ready. But yeah, I just appreciate your patience and your understanding and you know, everybody is just one of those things. But it's all gonna work out. I don't know who I'm trying to reassure, you or me, maybe both. We got this. We got this, you got this, you're doing great. And I'm just proud of you for pulling through. Look, we made it to another year. That's pretty awesome. We're crushing it. And I love your face. That's basically in summation, I love your face. And I will see you real soon. So you'll be here, I'll be here. I'll see you, see you then. Okay, bye.